In this video, I'm going to show you how to track the voltage in your RV batteries so you can get more life out of them for your next camping trip. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to monitor the power going in and out of your batteries. It's really nice to know how much power you have left to last the rest of the evening. If you want the lights to be on for an extended camping trip over your weekend or the camping adventure that you're going to do. If you're new to RVing and you don't know what the term is boondocking or dry camping, that only means that you're going to be out running on battery power only. I'm going to do a little exercise in my camper. I'm going to take you out there and show you the little uh, clamp meter that I'm going to use. You don't have to have an expensive battery monitor to uh, get this information, but it is very helpful and it's fun. I did this in mind because I needed to know how long my batteries could last uh, when we went out camping. So when you're out camping and you're boondocking, dry camping, just running on battery power, you have to be conservative with what you use so you don't run yourself out of power. Things that you might charge are your phones, you might want to run the furnace at night if it's cold. RV refrigerator, maybe the one that's built in that runs on propane and battery, or maybe just one of those coolers that runs on 12 volt power. So you've got to have enough battery to last. My goal here today is to show you how to track the power going out and back in so you know, at least gives you an idea of how much power you have um, for your next camping trip. Okay, some basics on battery information. Most RV campers will have a deep cycle battery. And there are all kinds of batteries that you can talk about, but for the purpose of this video today, I'm gonna to be talking about lead acid batteries. Lead acid batteries are the most common battery used in RVs today. And with that, they're not very efficient and they're very heavy, but it's just what we have to use. And so hopefully I can help you get some more life out of those batteries. All right, back to the batteries. Your operating range is 12.0 volts up to 12.7. 12.7 volts is a full battery. 12.0 volts is a well, let's say a drained battery, it's 50%. Now a dead battery means there's no power left. You're done, and you're, you're damaging your battery, is 11.5 volts, I think is what it is. So that's how you measure it. So the first thing that you wanna do is you should turn off all the devices and appliances in your RV or camper for this test. You wanna take the voltage reading directly at the battery terminals. You're going to write down this voltage, the reading that you get for later use. Make sure you go back and turn on any appliances that you turned off for the test. The next thing that we're going to do for this test, so we're going to get ourselves a DC clamp meter. I'll put a link in the description below for the one that I'm using for this experiment today. What we also need to know is how many amp hours that our battery has. So battery has a rating of amp hours. That's how much power is in your battery. Most of us have a cell phone these days and we can tell by the reading, there's a little gauge on there that says 100% full, 80, 20, but a, a cell phone battery, you can drain down to zero. You just can't run those to zero and it helps to know where they're at. You want to stop at 50% and then recharge your batteries. An amp hour rating means that it has so much power. If your amp hour rating is 100, that means you have 100 hours to use, except you can only use half that. So that's where the, uh, the problem comes in. So a 100 amp hour battery, you get 50 amp hours out of it. All right, that's the most technical information I'm gonna go about this. Let's get out to the camper. I'll do some tests and you can see what I mean about the usage and how much draw there is. All right, now's the time for the test. We're gonna use the DC clamp meter. I'm gonna put it on the battery cable near the battery here. And uh, we're gonna see what the things draw inside the RV. How we use this is the uh, dial on. We're gonna use the 60 amp setting and then we're gonna zero this thing out before we use it. You use this button here to zero it out, hold it down for a couple seconds, and we're ready to go. All right, nothing's on, and we have our minimal draw. There's a couple of things that run in there, and uh, just under half an amp. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna test the um, lights. I'm gonna turn on about six of them inside the RV. All right, with that running, we'll see what the draw is here. With all the lights on in the living area there, we've got four amps. Okay, the next thing I'm going to test is a refrigerator and see how much it draws. The fridge is on. How much is it drawing? All right, very good, two amps. Two amps is the fridge on draw. Next up, the furnace. 
All right, I'm at the thermostat. We'll kick this furnace on and see what it draws. Well, with the furnace on, we're getting five and a half amps. I want to run the ceiling fan and the light in the bathroom and see what they draw. Got the ceiling fan and the light in the bathroom, two amps. All right, so now the test is done for the lights, furnace, refrigerator, the bathroom fan, and the light. Now I'm going to turn back on the solar panels and let's watch the power get put back in to the batteries. All right, all the appliances are off in the RV and I just have the essential one that's running that's a half an amp draw. I'm going to turn the solar panels back on and let's watch the power get filled back into the RV batteries. Now what you're going to see here is it's going to be a negative number. That's just because I need to turn the clamp around to make it show the right number. And if I did that, I couldn't record it. So I turned the solar panels on, as you can see here with my um, smart solar charge controller, Victron, and it's uh, filling up the batteries now. All right, well, that was very helpful information. I hope you got something out of that, seeing what draw goes out of the batteries and what goes back into the batteries. You want to use a battery charger, and that could just be as simple as plugging your RV into a generator or into a power source if you have shore power. And that's going to activate the built-in battery charger that comes with your RV. It's called a converter. It converts 110 volt AC power to 12 volts and it does other things as well but that's your battery charger that's built into your RV or camper. If you don't have a battery charger in your camper you may use solar panels you might want to use a portable battery charger in that case you're gonna have a generator. You know worst case scenario is you can plug your uh, if it's a pullable if you have a towable camper or RV when you plug in your lights and you get the cable and you plug that in it's also going to be charging your batteries. It's slow but it will charge your batteries. And so uh, that's what you want to do there. I'm not going to go into charging in this particular video, but I want you to know that it's super important to always have a full charge in your batteries and to know how much you need to put in them. All right, that's going to be it for this video. And I sure hope you got something out of that and there's some value in you learning how to check what goes in and out of your batteries to help them last a little bit longer and make your camping experience that much more fun. If you have some feedback for me, boy, leave that in the comments down below. Appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It really helps us out and supports us making additional videos. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.